We went to a region where we suspected it'd be an ice layer just below the surface. This was discovered from orbit. However, their resolution was not down to the size of our landing site. Their resolution was the size of the state of Arizona. So when you land in one place and have only a reach of six feet with your robotic arm, there was no guarantee that we were going to see ice at our particular landing site. And so we were thrilled to find out that the thrusters underneath the lander had blown away soil and exposed an ice table right there that we could see in the first week of the mission and we knew that we we're in good shape. The rest of the mission has been digging down to that ice table, proving first off that it is ice because uh, what you could see was white hard stuff and of course we thought it was ice but you had to prove it. Now we're investigating the properties of the soil that tell us that this ice has actually melted over time and that, that important uh, a piece of information that the ice melts, maybe not this year or last year, but maybe 500,000 years ago or 1,000 years ago or something, you know. But in the past, this ice has melted. That means that this could be a place where life can exist. And so we are trying to build a case now that um, this is a habitable zone on Mars, and people should go back with other missions and look for life in this region. Are there opportunities out there for the UVA and someone from the UVA to lead future missions? Yes, there are. And these are called um, New Frontiers missions or Discovery missions. And those can be proposed to go to an interesting object in the solar system that's of uh, great scientific value. And you can write a proposal. You can become a principal investigator and uh, actually operate the mission from this facility, for instance. And um, I know of at least two proposals that are trying to do that right now. What really excites you about future space exploration? Uh, what, you know, that planned or theoretical? Well, there's a, a couple of things that are going on for the future that are going to be very, very exciting to all astronomers. One is the James Webb uh, Orbiting Observatory that's being developed at Goddard. It's a, a really next generation space telescope. and as you well know, Space Telescope has returned a wealth of data about all kinds of astronomical objects and, and this next generation telescope is going to do even better. So, you know, you have to be excited about that. That's going to give us a big step forward in understanding our universe. Um, there's a, a large rover that's going to Mars. Um, I'm hoping to propose to be part of the science team. And that's... Um, I think launching just about a year from now. That's the 2009 launch. The right? 2009 Mars Science Laboratory. And it is the size of this table, even bigger actually. It's like a, a Mini Cooper, you know, has large wheels and, mm -hmm. and nuclear power that allow it to go for, I think they're planning five years of exploration. And that's just the, you know, the guarantee. That's the warranty is five years. Mm -hmm. So it could go much longer.